What's up everyone, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today we're diving into the GameSir Tarantula Pro, a feature pack controller priced at $98 Canadian or $112 Canadian uh, with the charger dock. After spending some time with it across different games and platform, I've found a lot to like, but also a few things that give me pause. Is this controller worth your money? Let's break it down and find it out. First off, let's talk about the design. On the top of the uh, GameStar Tarantula Pro, you've got the view, share and menu buttons, along with four customizable buttons, C1 to C4 and the home button. On the front, uh, you will find three more buttons, the T1, T2 and T3, plus an integrate NFC chip for extra functionality. The D-pad is mechanical, which provides a really nice and responsive feel, but one area where the controller falls short is the uh, A, B, X, Y buttons, which are a membrane base. They just don't have the same tactile uh, feedback as the rest of uh, the buttons and for a controller with so many premium features this feel like a bit of a letdown as for the joystick layout it's set up like a playstation controller with both sticks at the bottom personally i prefer the xbox style offset sticks so this took some getting used to if you're a fan of the xbox layout like me it might feel a bit awkward at first but you know now i'm playing a lot of playstation 5 so it's not that an issue I have to highlight the uh, MagRes uh, TMR joystick, uh, which are a standout feature of this controller. Their precision is really impressive, providing smooth and responsive control. Whether you're uh, aiming into a shooter or maneuvering in a racing game, honestly, it's one of the best joystick experience I've had, uh, and it's a real pleasure to use them. The Tarantula Pro is loaded with features. One of the standout ones is the ability to physically switch the layout of the A, B, X, Y buttons between Nintendo and Xbox configuration. With the press of a button, the face button rotates into place, and while this is a really fun gimmick, it's something you won't be using all that often, but you know, I think it's a very nice touch and a very cool touch. The triggers use an all-effect technology providing smooth and precise control. You can also switch them into mouse click mode with a slider on the back, which is a great for faster response times in game like shooters. I particularly enjoyed this in game where reaction time is crucial. The back of the controller has two programmable buttons, which uh, you can disable if you're worried about accidental input, a thoughtful a touch. However, the T1, T2 and T3 buttons they're just too far out of reach. I found them pretty much unusable uh, during gameplay because they're positioned awkwardly on the controller. One of the big selling points of the GameStar Tarantula Pro is this cross-platform compatibility. You can use it with PC, Nintendo Switch, and even mobile devices like uh, iOS and Android. This makes it a great option if you switch between devices regularly. On PC, it connects seamlessly via Bluetooth or through the wire connection or even your dongle. Uh, the experience on the Nintendo Switch was also smooth with all the buttons functioning correctly. However, when it comes to mobile gaming, the controller is not compatible with the phone clips uh, because of the extra button on the back. Uh, that's a bit of a letdown if you're uh, enjoying uh, mobile gaming on the go. But for casual mobile gaming, the controller still works well enough if you can deal without the clip. I put the Tarantula Pro uh, through its pace on a few different games, and I have to say, when it's good, it's really good. I spent some time playing on Showdown, and the precision of the joystick and the responsiveness of the all effect trigger were very impressive. Uh, the mouse click trigger mode came in ND when I needed to aim and shoot quickly. And the mechanical D-pad was great for retro and 2D games. I also played some Forza Horizon 5 and the experience was equally smooth. The joystick felt great for controlling my car and the triggers offer an excellent precision for accelerating and braking. However, as much as I enjoy playing the, with this controller, I still prefer the Xbox joystick layout. Uh, the symmetrical PlayStation style layout is in my favorite uh, and it might take uh, time for fans of Xbox layout to get used to. Now let's talk about the 6 axes uh, gyroscope and the HD rumble motors. The 6 axes uh, gyro is especially useful in racing game or games where motion control adds another layer of precision. I did test Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but you know, gyroscope is not my thing, but I just want to mention it's on the controller. 
Also, the dual HD Rumble motors also add a lot of immersion. For example, when playing Forza Horizon 5, I could feel the difference in vibration depending on the terrain. The subtle feedback you get from the road is pretty great. It's not the best that I see uh, on uh, all the controllers that I've tested, but honestly, it's a pretty strong one. Now let's do a polling rate test and also the circularity test. And after that, I will give you my conclusion. So now let's test the polling rate. We're going to start with the wire version. So we're going to go over there. We're going to press one. We're going to do 2000. So let's move the left stick. So our normal issue, we should be at 1000. As you can see, 1000 over there, the average at 941. So that's okay. So now let's do the wireless with the dongle version. So now with the dongle, we're going to do that 2000. So let's move it. Oh, so now we can already see that we're not at 1000 Hertz. So I guess it's going to be something like 250, maybe. Yeah, 250 average 188. So as you can see, big difference between like the dongle and the wire version. So now let's do the circularity test. Uh, you, we don't have the rectangular uh, option right now. Uh, the controller is not recognized on the GameSir uh, Nexus app. Uh, I think it's not officially launched in North America. That's the issue. So right now I'm using the uh, controller without any firmware update or uh, software. So let's do the circularity test for those TMR joysticks. So point two, this is pretty much what you can expect. Pretty nice feeling, honestly, for the joystick. So point two for both. So pretty good result. So now let's go back to my review. Now let's break it down into pros and cons so you can see what works and what doesn't uh, with the Gamester Tarantula Pro. So first of all, with the pros, button swapping feature is fun and practical if you're frequently switched between platform. Uh, the magnetic resistance TMR joystick are incredibly responsive and smooth. Whether you're uh, playing fast-paced shooter or racing game, they feel great. All effect triggers with mouse click mode offer an excellent customization for different playstyles. Uh, six axis uh, gyro and the HD rumble a controller add another layer of immersion, especially in racing and action game. And the cross-platform compatibility, PC, Switch, iOS, Android is a huge bonus if you play on multiple devices. Uh, for the cons, I feel like, uh, first of all, the ABXY membrane buttons feel out of place and on such a premium con controller. Uh, the T1, T2, and T3 buttons are poorly uh, positioned, uh, making them hard to access during gameplay. Not compatible with phone clip, like I said. Uh, also, I have some concern about durability with so many moving parts. I wonder how well it will hold up over time, especially if you drop your controller. Not too sure about this one. So, should you buy the GameStar Tarantula Pro? Well, if you're someone who enjoys a high level of customization and play across multiple platforms, this controller could be a great fit for you. The Magress joystick, customizable trigger, and extra feature like the gyro and the HD rumble make it a versatile piece of equipment. However, if you're more of a casual gamer or primarily stick to one platform, some of the features might feel like overkill. At $98 Canadian, there are simpler and more affordable options that will meet your needs without all the extras. And for those who, uh, like me, prefer the Xbox, Xbox joystick layout, this might not be the best choice. So for me, this controller is an 8 on 10. I really like the fact that they innovate. They don't, just don't copy the Xbox controller that we're seeing everywhere. So for that one, it's pretty cool. And the mechanical swapper for your A and B is a pretty nice touch. If you have any questions on this controller or other controller in the market, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me any question about it. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.